So after me and JP connect on IG, we link in a person at Edna and we start reason, well, we get to know each other because we, we never know each other. Me and JP don't know each other, none at all. All right, so the 1938 unrest. Um, it all started one day I was driving downtown and passed a sign, a monument um, that, that said, to the workers of 1938 who struggled, the nation salutes you. You know. Yeah. 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 All right, the first, the first time I heard um, the unrest was like, when JP came to me and was like, yo, we're doing a, we're doing a a short film and like I have this concept so I'm gonna put it together he was gonna to go to the library and worked with the team down there looking through their archives looking through newspaper clippings um, I looked at the few video um, references that they had and just tried to learn as much about 1938 we never know each other me and JP no know each other none at all until 1938 so we are reason and me start showing him say yo I wanted to do a project and the idea that I had it tied into 1938 so perfectly where as soon as him start explain his idea and what he wanted to do it was just yeah man so just let me know when you want to work and he might explain and we are say yeah man just let me know when you're ready so we can get this show on the road, you see? And JP show up on the Thursday and say, yo, where are the weekends? So I say, I don't know, I necessarily do nothing, but just let me know where the pre-animal say, yo, we are gonna shoot if we can if we can go shoot if we can shoot weekends. So I mean, I say, oh, sure. Which part, man? Say Westmoreland. We just drive down to Westmoreland. We start where JP take out him John, and we just start. him just start get some shots. Just start get some shots at the factory. The whole sugar cane. The people in my work. We could have, it was a very beautiful drone shot. Man, also wanna see it. And JP does uh, make it roll right now. And then I see the nice, nice drone shot. And you see them drone shots uh, beautiful. <laughs> because we, we never have a script. Like we never have a like to say a detailed script to say we're well, gonna do this and then that and then that. It was just the knowledge that we had and whatever the environment present to us. So it, it, the, it was very interesting to see what we can come up with with just what nature and the environment I give us and the knowledge that we have. So with us, are, with us are work and with us a shoot. The axe get heavy. My shoulder did a give problem. I mean, come on, guys. We not do this. <laughs> not do this for a regular. But then I remember being in Westmoreland. We helped me with being in Westmoreland. Helped me with that character a lot as well because I remember I talked to the the man them where we worked on the sugarcane plantation and while down there we spoke with some of the farm workers and they shared with us, you know, how little they were earning and that you know that fueled us to tell this story even more i think Jaden, you know not having a script had to rely on the natural environment and the conversations we were having on the drive down and the conversations we had with the workers to prepare himself and to you know channel that um that energy that the character would have and i think he did a really good job
Yo. So yeah, we leave from there now and we go straight to St. Elizabeth. And the drive to St. Elizabeth though, we played the instrumental a lot. Yeah, when Teflon met me know, um, like the collaborative effort he got put in, you know, with the bridge name, JP, you know, on this film. In terms of the direction and everything and as it relates to music, where my pre. It's like right there and then me like we connect with the whole thing. I mean I said, no bro, you know say. I like the idea, I like the vibe, and I said to myself, you know, um, we actually want to record a song for the film. I mean, I said, what? I said, yeah, bro, and now you come to my mind because I know you're creative like that, you know, I know you can paint something real quick. And right there and then, you know, um, but the the instrumental and thing, it was two instrumentals. And it never really took me no time to come with a concept, but everything solidified when for me, JP, you know, JP and Jaden at um, UE. I think we met. Of UE. Yeah, of UE. A couple of days after we met of UE, and two days, I think, a day or two after, he came with that song, Burning. I was like, yo, bro, this thing. It's not normal. This is like a hit song right here. And it definitely has the sound of the short film in terms of the feeling, the whole spirituality of the short film as well, the expression, you know, what was really happening. So Jalen Vice spoke to me in that direction. That's why I chose that song and that beat. Teflon and Jalil. You know what I'm gonna say? Understand the assignment. Them, them did understand the assignment 100% and never failed to deliver. I mean, the track on top of what I did and what JP do and what everybody else do was just magnificent, you know? It pieced it together really well. And again, JP just take out in camera and see him position it one side and I say, all right, that thing I do, I'm gonna start look in at the field same time and start match. How me now, I go as the actor, show exactly what he wants. Rain a tear, we can't do much dialogue and we don't have much time for say, all right, JP, so we're gonna try this and then turn it that we never have time for all of that. We just have to feed off of each other energy and know, say, yo, we are do this because we know exactly what we want you guys to feel. We might not have the script for words, but we know exactly how we want you to feel and the information we want you to get. That character typing up everything and publishing it to the world, making people know exactly what's going on and what's happening in our time. And for the people in the future can look back and know say this one right now is a rush of emotions. It's a lot of emotions because even though him frustrated and sad and want freedom and all of them things there, I still feel like it's a joy for no say, he might do this now for helping people them. I specifically wanted to end the film with him typing in a typewriter because I wanted to share the full extent of the unrest. It wasn't only physical unrest, which is in the, in the form of riots and rebellions. It was also in lobbying. If you haven't already, please watch 1938 Unrest out now on YouTube. Along the way, we, we faced hiccups, there were challenges, there were obstacles that we had to maneuver around. But I believe, you know, the film that was supposed to be produced was produced, and I'm happy with what um, we were able to accomplish. 
So, you know, major thanks to everybody that was involved. If you haven't checked the film out as yet, you need to. Unrest on YouTube, JP, big up JP, Jaden, Jalil, Studio 8, everybody, big up on yourself, you see me? Make we know what we want to do, what we do like. Just make we know, you can drop it in the comments, you can link JP, link me. Just, let's go. 1938.